watching some of my streams recently, you would know that I've become absolutely obsessed with Yacht Club and Mechanical Head's Cyber Shadow. I've been playing this game on the PC, on the Xbox uh, Series X, and mostly on the Nintendo Switch because the Shovel Knight amiibo actually works with the game and you can put a little floating Shovel Knight around you. That doesn't really help you that much. It's just really super cool. This is a game with a full-on 8-bit aesthetic and a beautiful retro chiptune soundtrack that completely gets into your soul and doesn't let up. It's so addictive and so compulsive and it's unbelievably challenging as well, which is kind of akin to a lot of the best 8-bit games out there. I'm thinking of classics like the 8-bit Batman game, uh, which I recently reviewed in Side-Scrolling Superheroes. So this is kind of familiar territory to jump into Cyber Shadow. It evokes a lot of stuff that we've seen in games like Ninja Gaiden or Shinobi. You're kind of like this robot ninja type character that has all of these special abilities that you can accumulate because you have to progress through the map and take out bosses. And suddenly your straightforward blade weapon might pick up a power-up that gives you more of a concussive slice. Eventually you'll pick up the abilities to slide down walls or leap off of them or bounce jab off of enemies. I don't know what to call that. Bounce you or you slice into the heads of creatures and kind of propel yourself forward that way. You're always looking out for these kind of cybernetically and robot enhanced creations that are floating and hovering and shooting out electrical impulses. You're avoiding spikes. Spikes are the nemesis of any 8-bit styled video game and spikes instantly kill you just like they do in Mega Man. So you want to avoid those but there's also electrocuted floors which you want to time properly to bounce across or electrocuted water. You're going to be encountering flying villains. You're going to be encountering villains that might have explodable backpacks handily packing something around that you can shoot into and they will explode because you do also acquire shurikens which are very handy and you also pick up like a fiery shield power up which is really useful because it protects you but it also shoots out this energy blast and clearly the difficulty continues to ramp and ramp and ramp but what I found so fascinating about playing Cyber Shadow is that it doesn't punish you in a way that you want to just hurl the controller and walk away from it. it it feels like the precision of the game is so meticulously crafted, and it's so unbelievable to me that this was made by one person, Arne Hunziger, who just did an incredible job. All of the precision of where the pixels are, the jump lengths, the switches that you have to hit to activate doors or unlock power-ups and abilities that will allow you to continue your progress. Everything is just so tuned and precise, so it doesn't feel like the game is slapping you or is unfair. You know, of course, we don't have the flickering artifacts and some of the, the this production anomalies that would interfere with our progress in classic 8-bit experiences you know you just your, your character would just have this weird distortion or weird thing that would happen to him and and it would screw you up and you would lose a life and you'd be very frustrated and so this isn't that type of game you understand the craftsmanship and the meticulousness the labor of love design that has gone into this it's it's fastidious it's obsessive. You almost are playing a chess game with Arne's kind of designs as you're playing through it. And much like a roguelike, a death doesn't discourage from more exploration or a further attempt at it. And I did find some places where I'd reach a choke point, I couldn't make it pass, I couldn't make it pass, I put the controller down, I would breathe and I'd come back. And it was just so rewarding when you did sort of, you know, puzzle solve and mechanically solve the challenges to progress. And the game is rife with rewards, great cut sequences, astounding production values in terms of uh, this pixel art and this beautiful music that pervades throughout the entire experience. It's so captivating. Honestly, this is one of the best games that I've played so far in 2021. It's not an especially long game when you stack it all in and once you start to get more and more proficient with you know, the challenges that you're gonna face and the mechanics that you have available to you, you you're, you're gonna beat it eventually and you're gonna put it away, but it's just so well made. I can't see this being a game that we don't wanna go back to. And my hope is that this is the beginning of something quite epic for Yacht Club and for Mechanical Head. I hope that this becomes a new franchise. Maybe we get extensive DLC akin to what Yacht Club has been doing with Shovel Knight over the years, really extending that brand. I would love to see Cyber Shadow continue. I was just really taken aback. This is a beautiful experience. If you're a fan of retro games, but hell, even if you don't play retro games, even if you're just all about what's new and what's hot, 
I feel like this has got a freshness about it that is absolutely worth your time. I'm gonna give Cyber Shadow a nine out of 10.